Hi guys, here's part two of my special effects series. Today we are doing scars using the Rigid Collodion from Maron. The rest is just makeup. If you want to see, keep watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share the video. I used a pink lip liner, the Rigid Collodion, a powdered foundation, a concealer, and an eyeshadow palette. So let's start with the pink lip liner and we're going to draw our scars. So just mark the scars as long, as short, as wide, or as thin as you would like your scars to be. So with the Rigid Colonian, we're going to paint on top of the scars that we just created. We're going to brush this on and we're going to allow it to air dry. Give it about a minute or maybe even a little less. It dries pretty quick. And um, this is just to enhance the scars. Once this dries, you're going to apply it a few more times, repeating the same exact thing. Apply it, wait about a minute or so, reapply it. It does have a funky scent, so I do advise you do this in a ventilated area and keep it away from your eyes. And I would keep it away from my nose too. So just keep that in mind because it does smell funky and like I said you're just gonna keep applying this wait for it to dry reapply the more you apply this to the same area the more rigid it's going to look on this video I think I show like three sets of the application but I believe I did six to seven of, of the rigid collodion application if you have sensitive skin, I would not be using this on your skin because you may not, your skin may not be too happy with it. I did try it on my skin and I'm not sensitive and it did leave a red mark on my skin for quite a while even after I removed the rigid collodion. But uh, it doesn't do that on everybody's skin so I guess you try it out, see how it works. I would try a small spot first before going crazy with scars all over the place here i'm going in with a powdered foundation you can use any powder this is just to try and get rid of some of that shine the rigid collodion leaves behind and now i'm going to use some concealer just to try and blend the scar into the skin Here comes the fun part. Now I'm going to be using my eyeshadow palette. First I grabbed a red eyeshadow and I'm going over the scars as you can see. And just try and blend that as best as you can. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to use a few different eyeshadow shades. I'm going to go in with purple, red, green, and blue. I'm just trying to make this skin look as bruised as possible. So just go crazy, go ham, have fun, and create your bruise there. Again, just stick to those shades and you should get some funky looking skin colors um, on top of your scars. And we are done. So this is what it should look like. It looks like a scar that somebody removed the scabs off of it and it's all bruised and ugly looking, but it's pretty simple. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, you guys. Until next time, hugs and kisses.